All right, on to task two. Task two is uh, blocking VLAN 30 from accessing basically server two's web server. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to use an extended access list. All right, so when we did standard access list, we matched on source address. Okay, so we applied that as close to the destination as possible. With extended access lists, I have. Uh, I can basically take layer 3 information and layer 4 information. So now I can match on source address, destination address, protocol, and the port number. Okay, so I have all of those things that I can work with to really hone in how I want to apply my access list. Okay, and because I can really narrow it down, I end up applying it as close to the source as possible, which is great. For VLAN 30, I'm only going to be restricting uh, web access to server 2. So the, the grand thing about that is if I apply it close to the source, which is going to end up being the sub interface on this router, my traffic never traverses these links. It never goes across this uh, router and then gets applied right before it goes to the server. Uh, and, and the great thing about that is what if this is a pay per usage link? This is my WAN link and maybe I get charged based upon my bandwidth usage. So I want to basically block that traffic before it ever goes across the link because we already know that it shouldn't be going to this web server at least for uh, web access. Okay, So I'm going to apply as close to the source as possible which is going to be the sub interface on this router. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's bring up our command line. Now we're going to do an access list. I'll do a question mark. Notice I have 100 to 199 for my extended access list. Now we also have uh, 200 to 2699, just not listed in Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay, so I'm going to choose access list 101 question mark now I've got the same things I had before deny permit or remark I'm gonna go ahead and do a remark because I think it's good practice to make sure you always add you know a remark before you do the commands so we're gonna this is our deny uh, www traffic from VLAN 30 to server 2 alright so access list 101 we're gonna do a deny now we have a bunch of things we can use okay in this case I'm gonna go TCP because we're gonna uh, web traffic in this case is gonna be uh, TCP protocol I'm gonna do a source address so this is where I'm gonna match it to uh, VLAN 30 so 192.168.30.0 Again, I've got wildcard mass because I'm doing it as a network address. So 0, .0, 0, 0, 0.0.0. Dot, and in my case, uh, 30 is using a slash 27. So a 25 would be a 128. 26 is 192. 27 is a 224. All right. So two, 255 or 224 is uh, a block size of what 32 so I'm gonna be a 31 right here alright now I have a couple different things I can do here as well uh, in my case I'm going to match it for a host okay because I wanna make sure that uh, I'm only gonna restrict web traffic from VLAN 30 if it's going out to server 2 so I'm gonna do host I'm going to put the IP address in of the server, so 192.168.50.2. And now uh, I can, I have some of the same things I had before, but in this case I'm going to do equals. Match only packets on a given port number. So this is where I get into the port number uh, that I can match. Um, now there's a couple different ways of entering it. I can use the actual port number 
or they they tip, uh, Cisco typically puts some of the common uh, ones that you might be matching on. However, if you notice, you don't see DNS in here. So if I wanted to block them from using DNS, I could just put a, let's see, DNS is 53. So I could just put a 53 here. But in our case, we only want to do uh, web traffic. So I can put www or I could put port 80. Okay. And then I'm going to hit enter. So if I do a do show access list 101. Right now, I only have a single deny statement. Now, remember, this is followed up by a deny any any, an explicit deny. So basically, if I apply this um, to my sub interface, I'm going to block everything coming from VLAN 30 because there are no permit statements here whatsoever. So I'm going to basically, since I've already restricted the traffic that I want, I'm going to do deny any, oops, how about an access list 101, deny, and in my case, I've got, I'm going to use the IP protocol, and then any, any source address, any destination address, okay? Now, I want to apply this as close to VLAN uh, 30 as possible, so we'll do a do it on the sub interface so interface fa 0 slash 1 decimal 30 is where I have it coming in I have uh, IP access group my access list number and then which direction well this is inbound coming from VLAN 30 alright now, if I've done everything right, VLAN 20 will be able to access the web server, but VLAN 30 should not. All right, so let's bring up our web browser. So 192.168.50.2. Welcome to server 2. VLAN 30, though, 192.168.50.2. And nothing happens. So VLAN 30 cannot access the web server. So we've we've done that correctly. But have we restricted any other traffic? Can can we still ping it? Uh, did I type that in right? One nine two one six eight fifty dot two. So that should have worked. Uh, because that's ICMP traffic. So that should have fallen under IP any any. Not really sure why it's doing that. So let's look here. We can do a show access list. Uh, this is 101. Now notice we have some matches here. So for some reason it matched 47 times on the deny so that's probably source address from here trying to go here should have been equal www deny IP any any this er oh that should have been permit IP any any that's why my pings didn't work so these are all my www requests and these are all my pings so let's go ahead and fix that now remember you can't change it line by line so what you have to do is remove it put it in notepad or something and then you know change it and paste it back in so we'll do a uh, show run I'm gonna take access list 101 I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna bring up uh, notepad I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to change this last one to a permit. Copy. Fig T. So we'll do a no access list 101. So that removes the entire access list, every one of the statements. And then we'll paste the new one back in.
And let's try it again. So let's see if we can access here 192.168.0. Or not 0. How about 50.2? So we still can't uh, get to the web server. But let's bring up our ping. And now we can ping. So if we look, we sent out four pings. And if we do a show access list 101, we have four matches on the permit IP any any. Those are the pings. And then we have 39 matches on the deny. So the access list is working correctly. Just had a typo the first time around. Happens when you talk and uh, type at the same time. All right, so that's ac or that's task two complete now with a uh, s extended access list. So next we'll do uh, task three.